Brought to you by wikivd.com. Karen Jarrett. Karen Jarrett is an American professional wrestling valet and personality, currently signed with Impact Wrestling as an executive consultant. She was formerly the senior vice president of the TNA Knockouts division. She is the ex-wife of professional wrestler and Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle, and the wife of TNA and GFW founder and wrestler Jeff Jarrett. World Wrestling Federation, Entertainment, 2001-2004 Karen was never involved in a storyline of World Wrestling Entertainment while her then-husband, Kurt Angle, was under contract. She herself was never under contract, but did briefly appear at Unforgiven 2001 as a part of the big celebration, with the Angle family following Kurt Angle's victory over Stone Cold Steve Austin for the WWF Championship. She also made an appearance on the WrestleMania XX DVD set in a bonus segment regarding Kurt Angle. Total Nonstop Action Wrestling 2007-2008 Karen Angle was introduced in Total Nonstop Action Wrestling in the summer of 2007 when Samoa Joe and Kurt Angle were feuding for an all-at-once Triple Crown Championship. Karen was supposedly wanting to divorce Kurt, claiming that he was emotionally abusive toward both her and their children. At the Hard Justice pay-per-view, however, Karen betrayed Joe during his match with her husband, resulting in Kurt winning the Triple Crown. In the following weeks, her character began to develop into a manipulative vamp, such as when she claimed that Sting slapped her at no surrender when, in fact, he had not. This led to Kurt and Sting losing the tag team titles to Team Pac-Man after Kurt executed the Olympic Slam on Sting. Another feud then erupted between Kurt Angle and Sting in which Sting had Karen arrested for violating a restraining order and Kurt stalking Sting's son. At Genesis, Karen persuaded AJ, Styles and Tomko into helping Kurt retain the TNA World Heavyweight Championship during the tag team match for the title. In late 2007, Karen began to have issues with Booker T.S. wife Sharmal, claiming there was only room for one queen in TNA. This led to a catfight at the December 12 TNA Impact tapings. Karen suffered a broken foot after jumping from the apron after an in-ring segment. She did not miss any time as a result of TNA's taping schedule. On the February 14, 2008 episode of Impact, Karen was scheduled to renew her wedding vows to Kurt. But in the storyline, she was pronounced married to AJ Styles after the priest, who had just been knocked down by Kevin Nash, awoke and married the two, mistaking Styles for Kurt. Kurt then started to emotionally attack Karen for not ending the marriage. Later in the year, she proposed to separate from Kurt Angle which Kurt Angle supported to concentrate on his upcoming match with Samoa Joe at lockdown. Since then, hints of a relationship with AJ were given, after Kurt continued to ignore Karen, even having her ejected from her ringside seat at lockdown. On the May 22, 2008 episode of Impact, Kurt Angle asked Karen to the ring to forgive him for not performing his husbandly duties and to ask her to come home. Karen then left a begging Kurt in the ring after he pleaded for a second chance. At the end of Impact, Karen came to the ring to the aid of AJ Styles who was being beaten for on one by Booker T, Team 3D, and Tomko. After being ejected, Karen ran to the back to enlist Kurt's aid, who came out with a chair. Kurt threatened the four with the chair, only to turn around and see his estranged wife hugging a bloody AJ. Kurt free, and hit AJ with the chair, thus prompting the four back in the ring. Team 3D held Karen up while Kurt held AJ's head, yelling at Karen, telling her this was all her fault. Kurt is quoted as saying to Karen, This is your fault. You deceived me. On the May 29th, 2008 edition of Impact, after being assaulted backstage before his entrance, AJ ran to the ring to help Karen only to be beat down by Team 3D and Kurt Angle for the second week in a row. Christian Cage came to the ring to aid Styles but was viciously assaulted for his trouble as well. 
It was then announced that, at the Slammiversary pay-per-view it would be AJ Styles one-on-one -on -one with Kurt Angle. Karen then interfered helping AJ Styles win his match against Kurt Angle at Slammiversary 2008, turning her face again. Shortly thereafter, Angle was given her own interview segment, Karen's Angle on Impact. Her first interview was Kaz on July 24, 2008. On the October 9, 2008 episode of Impact, it was announced that Karen had to step down as the host of Karen's Angle to focus on her family. Her profile and knockout photos were taken off TNA's official website, but were put back up a few days later. Return to TNA, 2011, 2015 on January 10, 2011, TNA announced that Karen would be making her return to the promotion on the January 13 edition of Impact, appearing beside her new husband Jeff Jarrett, who has recently been feuding with Kurt Angle. In her return appearance Karen confronted Angle just as he was about to attack Jeff, told him that she would not allow him to ruin their personal lives and promised to tell all about their divorce the following week. The following week Karen slapped Kurt, providing a distraction which allowed Jeff to beat him down. On February 13, at Against All Odds Jeff defeated Kurt in a singles match and as a result Angle was forced to walk Karen down the aisle when she and Jarrett renewed the wedding vows on the March 3rd edition of Impact. On March 3rd Angle proceeded to destroy the wedding set with an axe and forced wedding guest. New York Jet Bart's got to tap out with the ankle lock. On May 15 at Sacrifice, Angle and China, whom Angle had recently brought to the promotion to negate Karen, defeated the Jarrett's in a mixed tag team match, after Karen submitted to China. Due to a storyline injury, Karen missed the culmination of Jess and Angle's feud at Slammiversary IX, and the following Impact Wrestling, which led to the defeat of Jarrett leaving the company for a tour of Mexico. On June 18, Karen appeared beside her husband at Mexican promotion Lucha Libra AAA Worldwide's biggest event of the year, Triple Mania 19, and provided a distraction, which led to Jeff defeating El Zorro for the AAA Mega Championship. On the September 1st edition of Impact Wrestling, Eric Bischoff named Karen the new commissioner of the Knockouts division. On the October 20th edition of Impact Wrestling, Jarrett aligned herself with Gail Kim and Madison Rain. On the December 15th edition of Impact Wrestling, TNA's authority figure, Sting, fired both Jarrett's from TNA as a result of Jeff losing to Jeff Hardy at final resolution. Four years later, Karen, alongside her husband Jeff returned to Impact Wrestling on the June 24, 2015 tapings. Jeff announced that he would be the first entrant in the King of the Mountain match. At Slammiversary 2015, Karen became a villainous on the August 26 episode of Impact Wrestling, when she revealed that she orchestrated the attacks on TNA general manager Bully Ray and Drew Galloway. A team of five wrestlers from GFW fought against a team of five from TNA in a lethal lockdown match to determine complete control of TNA. GFW was unsuccessful when Drew Galloway pinned Brian Myers, thus exiling GFW from TNA. Thank you for watching, brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.